Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 43 in our legendary, our epic new improved series of Arduino tutorials. What we are going to do today is we are going to check your homework from lesson number 42. The assignment in lesson number 42 was to take the circuit which we had ended up with last week which was to use the uh, 74HC595 shift register or serial to parallel converter and not just be able to line up the LEDs like we did in lesson number 42 but to create a binary counter and your assignment was to count from 0 to 255 using these LEDs. Were you successful? Were you able to do it? Were you able to get it to work? How do I know? You're not just watching this and copying me now, are you? Don't do that. You need to be doing this work on your own. So I need you to get a nice big mug of iced coffee. I need you to get your eLego Super Starter Kit. And I need you to connect up the circuit that we were left with last week. And remember, this was the bond diagram. Uh, the uh, the schematic, the connection schematic of the circuit that we were building. You can go back to lesson number 42 on toptechboy.com and you can get a hard copy of the schematic. And also we had the code that we were left with last week, which I believe if I can find a suitable view, uh, this was the code that we ended up with. And so we're going to sort of pick up with where we left off. You can get this code also at toptechboy.com, lesson number 42. But you really need to go in and watch that video and get things hooked up as we have it here. So what did we want to do? We wanted to create a binary counter. Now, maybe what you were thinking about doing was just generating numbers like you saw that if we, uh, oh, I need to adjust this a little bit. You can't quite see the leftmost part of this. Let's see here. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. A little bit more. Okay. And then over here. That is looking good. All right, so you should be able to see what I'm typing now. So what you might <clears throat> think about doing was creating different... Uh, I kind of gave you a clue here that if you uh, take a byte, like we called here LED1, that it can be defined and uh, the byte, you tell it you're giving it a byte format with the 0B, and then you can put a pattern here and then you can write that pattern into the LEDs. And so if we just take this one out, the second one out, okay, and then you come uh, down here, let's take this second series of writes out of the code. So now we're just taking the latch pin low, okay, then we're sending the data to the data pin, which is our LED ones, and then we bring the latch pin back up. It should take whatever pattern we have here and it should write it to the LEDs. And so if I just come in and, oh, what is that? Uh, had a spurious line of code there. I'll take that out. Now let's write it. Okay, so, and this looks incredibly wrong. LED ones. LED ones. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. There, that is correct. So, not sure what, uh, maybe we have a little bit of a delay in here. But anyway, that is correct now. It is working. So, we put in the bit sequence. One byte is eight bits, and we put in the bits one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. And then that is, in fact, what we got there. So, now you can see what you could do is you could go in and just start creating these bit patterns and then you could write it and then if you want to count from 0 to 255 you could have kind of this replicated 256 times. But that would be hard. Okay, that would be hard. Why don't we just give it the first one which is 0, 0, 0, 0 and then why don't we 
then as we loop through the delay time is a quarter of a second that looks pretty good and then after each one of these where we take the LED ones and we send it in what if we just said LED ones equal LED ones LED ones, let me make sure I did that right, LED ones plus one. And then let me put a print in here, serial dot print LN, and then what do I want to print? LED ones, and I want to print it in binary. Okay, now let's see if I have a good view where you can see. This will perhaps be a new view that I will need to create. Uh, let me see if I can get you to see what I want you to see. I need to have this. Okay. And now I am going to edit this. Give me just a second, man. Don't, don't hate on me for this. I want you to see what I want you to see. So I'm going to add video capture. Okay, so let me bring this down here. Now you can kind of see the code. You can sort of see the code and you can see the lights and you can see what we're printing. So that should be pretty good. And I just need to move this over a little bit like that. Okay, so now you should see what I want you to see. So what we are starting with here, we're starting with a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we're going to print it out. And what you should see up here printed should match what you're seeing down here on the LEDs. And so let's try this. Hopefully you'll see how easy this is. We are downloading. Oh, and denied. What did we do wrong? We didn't hold our breath and we didn't put a semicolon. Oh. Mm. Okay, one, okay, that is going much too fast. Let's slow it down a little bit, but I do think, in fact, it is working. Okay, the first thing that we write is all zeros, and so let's download that again. Okay, and then over here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right. Okay, that is working. I wasn't counting correctly. But do you see that what is happening here is matching what is happening here? I'm going to slow this down again just so that we can watch it. And then we'll speed it up and do it. So that would be a thousand. All right, so let's go again. And watch how the numbers on the serial monitor are matching what's happening in the circuit. Okay, so we have got 0, 1, 3, I'm not able to count. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. See, see, that is in fact working. That is working very well. Okay, let's make it go faster this time. Okay, let's make it go faster so we can count to the 255 quickly. All right, so we're going to put that there. Okay, look at that. That is counting to 255 very quickly. And as I'm watching this, I'm seeing that it is, in fact, working all the way up. There we go. And now we are going to get close to rolling the thing all the way back over. Okay, and it is filling up there, and it rolled back over. Okay, guys, did you see that that worked? All right, were you able to do this homework? All right, do you see how easy it was that you didn't want to go in and create those binary? You need to see that you can work with it as a byte and just add one to it. And when a byte fills up, it just overflows and it rolls back and it doesn't do anything else. Okay, hope you guys were able to do this. 
And remember, the whole thing is we're trying to get you to be more familiar and more comfortable with hexadecimal because this is the kind of nonsense that you're going to be running into. All right, let me just show you another thing. This was kind of nice. Uh, this was kind of nice. Where was my nice shot that I just put together so that you could see all of this? Okay, this was kind of nice because we just set it. Uh, we set it as a bit. Okay, we set it as binary, and then you can just write the zeros and ones where you want things to start. But you can go back to hexadecimal and write that's just 0x, and then you would just put in 0, 0. The 0 is the, uh, the first four, the least significant four, and these are the most significant four. And you can put in hexadecimal here, and it'll work as well. Let me just go ahead and download that and show you. Okay, there you see, it's working. Working just like we expected it. Okay, all right. So let me uh, give you another homework assignment. What I want you to do this time is, and I'll kind of get you started just so that you, you kind of see what I want, all right? We're gonna start and change this back to binary, and then I am going to put in a number just like zero, one, or one, zero, one, zero, one zero one zero all right and now you're just going to put that in one time without incrementing it just so you can kind of see what I'm doing I'll leave the print in there uh, you're just going to put it in there one time just to see what I'm talking about <clears throat> taking a second to download okay and there we have it one we have it uh, one zero one zero one zero one zero. Okay, did you see that across there? We got it. Now what I want you to do is whatever number that you put in with this code, I want you to step through and do an arithmetic shift right. That is take those bits and then in the next loop move all the bits over to the right by one and then all the bits over to the right by one, and all the bits over to the right by one. And what you can see is, is that as you're moving these bits to the right, like just shift all the bits to the right one, you're going to start losing the one on the right. Like the least significant one, you're going to shift to the right, and it's going to be lost. And so whatever you start with, it's just going to shift, 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 shift until they're all off. Okay, so I need you to figure out how to do that. Then after you can do that, you're going to do arithmetic shift right where they're all shifted off of the array to the right. Then what I want you to do is write a second program where they're all shifted one by one to the left. So you take all eight and then you shift to the left until they're all gone. Those are your two assignments for next week. All right, I want you to think about it. All right, this is turning out to be kind of a fun project. I want to give you several assignments because we spent so much time getting this shift register working. I want you to kind of use it to start thinking about binary and start thinking about hexadecimal and getting your brain working like that. This has been a quick lesson. Hopefully you guys are playing along. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Think about giving us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel. Make sure to ring that bell so that you get notifications. Think about sharing this on your social media with your friends and family. Paul McWhorter, toptechboy.com. We will talk to you guys later.